All right, who needs money here with Cadigan? Um, if this list is fake, then I'm just gonna take this down. But everyone seems to be saying that this is the list. Um, it's on shriek. So yeah, it's on shriek. So that has to be it. Um, we're just gonna go through it. Banned all the baby dragons. This is something that I I don't think anyone saw. Like like banning. Like everyone was like, we'll just put the babies at one. And then I was like, they're not gonna hit an entire archetype of cards. And if you notice, uh. All, and we just hit our top two decks with Ban Hammer. Like, Dragons are not a deck anymore. And Judgment is, is, is and Spellbooks are back to Tier 2, where I enjoy playing them, because mm -hmm. screw Tier 1. Um, I've been playing Spellbooks. Right. Yeah, who needs matter? I've been playing uh, Prophecy without Judgment recently. Trying Magellines, trying Shrink, just trying all stupid stuff. Um, but every single card you see here, 3-0. to zero. I believe the last card to do that was Dark Strike Fighter, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Stark Strike Fighter lived a solid maybe two to three months, and then just psh, ban hammer, and mm -hmm. is that what this, we, that's what we're seeing here again. So, um, on to the limited stuff, Birdman. Um, I believe I understand it. It's because of the Quackamero Doom FTK. Um, no one played it, but I'm glad that the Quackamero Doom FTK won't be played even in the limited play that I did see. Wind up Shark. I don't see why this happened. Wind ups. Everyone thought that we'd be getting like Carrier back, maybe. Like maybe get Zen Mighty back and like bring the deck back, but Konami further wants to hit it. They're trying to say, hey, don't play this deck anymore. So, like people tried it at the beginning of the format and it did uh, did okay with Warrior it and stuff like that. Bad. Didn't yeah, it wasn't a bad deck. Lost to Gozen, which is a card people were citing heavily this format. Um, so, um, TS something in Mermel's had to get hit. We knew that something. Um, Rooster, this is pretty preemptive. I mean, the deck was out for a while. Um, in Japan, I believe, so I can understand it, but I don't know. Three X's Fire Fist is good. It was the Rogue Tier One in Japan. It was the Rogue Tier One. The Rogue Tier One. Um, we got obviously our Super Rejuvenation. Um, with hitting the babies, I don't see this necessary, but this is good because it hits Dragon Exodia. Dragon Exodia is dumb. I don't like. No one likes Exodia FTK, so this hits that as well. Um, this is Divine Wind Miss Valley. I believe it's the Harpy Dancer FTK. Yep. That plays it. Um, Abyss Sphere, again, Mermels are going to get hit. And then we got our extra deck. We got Big Eye and Trish. Trish also will keep people from playing Exodia. Mm -hmm. um, I miss Trish so much. Um, definitely going to be playing Trish. Big Eye, thank God. It's not fair. It's a really poorly designed card. It's not like... It had to happen. It had to happen. Uh, under Semi Limits, Chaos Sorcerer, whatever. Chaos Sorcerer has bounced from zero to three it's been everywhere so two is fine for me um best Yari. konami released an article going into last format saying that they were afraid to put bestie at two and they finally did it and i don't know why i mean yeah glads don't do anything but this is a very significant boost especially since they got tanky to help the deck out and bear and stuff like that they definitely play those cards so it's really interesting grandma the two I guess I don't mind. Um, I might be siding two of these implants to get rid of Ophion because Evil Swarms, as you saw, see here, get zero hits. Absolutely no hits. A lot of people thought Ophion would get sacked. Yeah, I thought Ophion would be going to maybe two, possibly. Um, I don't... Apparently not. Um, Gore's the two. This is dumb. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the worst part about this list. I don't mind anything on this list except this. This is the one thing I actually have a gripe about is two Gores. Gores is stupid. Yeah, I didn't see play this format because people just, Dragons. People just big eye it. It's like, oh, I dropped Gores. Oh, I'm just going to take that Gores. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, look at that level 7 monster. All right, I'm going to make something else and make Draco sack with your Gores. Yeah, Gores, Gores didn't see much play this format because of that, but Gores is stupid, and I don't like it. I don't think this card... It, it punishes a player for attacking. And I don't want to be in a format where we have more gores than solemn warnings. Ew. We have more gores than solemn warnings, so I don't want to be in a divine wrath gores. <laughs> I'm not gonna divine wrath gores. That's cute. I'll play macro rap and I'll dalka gores, whatever. <laughs> um, too tanky. We get it. Tanky splashable goes in everything. I mean, so many, yeah. so many, so many things play tanky. Um, two black whirlwind. Uh, yeah, fine. Black wings suck. <laughs> I've said it once, I'll say it again. Black Wings aren't very good. Although I did lose the Black Wings today because I don't know why I lost. Probably because I drew shit. It happens. Monsters are nice to have. Monsters are nice to have. I don't draw those. I don't draw monsters, specifically Valor. Um, 
three wind up magician, you hit shark, replace with magician, whatever. Um, my opinion is this hits the deck. Three Tsukiyomi, again, who cares? Three call, um, I kind of get why it was semi I'm glad it's back. I honestly think heroes are going to do very well this format. I really think heroes have a good chance to do well. Mm -hmm. Advanced Ritual Art, people tried. Um, uh, Demise didn't work. I see Harold having a chance with Advanced Ritual Art at three. Christ. Um, yeah, H Herald of Perfection is stupid. I don't like I don't like playing against the deck. I don't think anyone likes playing against Harold. It's like, hey, do you want to play against a deck that ruins everything you're about to do? Sweet. No, no one wants to play against Herald. Um, three Duality should never have been semi -eyed. I'm glad. Um, three Scapegoat. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I'm hoping I'm not the only one who notices. I swear someone has to. Three Duality and three Scapegoat equals Chain Burn. <laughs> that's my, I don't know if that's just me, but Chain Burn would love three Duality and three Scapegoat. Um... As soon as as soon as I saw semi duality, I go, hmm, that's kind of stupid. But at least Chainburn gets hurt a little bit because no <laughs> one likes playing a Chainburn. So uh, glad that is uh, reasoning. Um, no one really plays it. Reaper Turbo plays it, but no one plays Reaper Turbo. Um, if you play Reaper Turbo, you're awesome. And this is another grep I have: three Mirror Force. Yeah. Um, two Gores, three Mirror Force. Two Gores, three Mirror Force. Lance just got really good again. I remember when Lance was the nuts at the beginning of the format. Um, then, I don't know what happened there. It was either the beginning of this format or the beginning of the last format. I remember Lance has just, just spiked, like, really hard. Um, I think in terms of decks doing relatively well, um, I can see, obviously, because we play Middle Chase, I can see Middle Chase doing well. I really see Heroes doing well. Heroes will be awesome. Um, Prophecy... Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. I mean, when you're when the card that made you decent goes in the shithole. Um, after Shadow Specters, I can see Bujins doing relatively well. I don't see Ghost Tricks doing it. Sorry, Ghost Tricks are awful. Um, this list is huge, by the way. Um, there's like, a lot and there's a lot of stuff. Uh, September lists are known for it. Are known for being bigger than March lists. But, um, this is quite huge. Uh, I can't think of any other decks that you think would do well. I really think the three axis deck is still fine without Rooster. It's, it's still viable. It's still viable without Rooster. Um, come Shadow Specters with three scapegoat plants, possibly. Very possibly. Definitely a possibility. Um, I kind of want to see Glad Beast. And Trish. And Trish. Glad Beast, I can see it if the deck gets played well and played right because, I mean,. You can't play how you used to play it. No. So you have to kind of kind of think it out a little bit more. You have to kind of have to go really derp. Um, War Chariot will probably be the nuts next format because you could see Fire Fist and stuff like that being really heavy effect effect wise. Um, another card that I think will be wow. Where is it? This card, Heldry Record. Um, I think I think this card's gonna be amazing next format because it's a counter trap because I think Evil Swarms will be a really good deck. And so this is going to be an amazing side against Evil Swarms. I feel like it's better than XC's Encore. Um, even though you can't chain uh, anything to Encore. You can, however, this is a counter trap. So Pandemic, not chainable. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this list. Um, it's very playable. Minus double gores. I know I'm going to be running double gores because I'm a tool. Um, thanks for watching, guys.